Hi everybody, welcome back to another of Mrs. John's sessions and today I'm just going to look at question 5 on conservation of mechanical energy. So watch this video after you watch the previous one because in the previous one I solved question 1 which is quite straightforward and this one's question 5. Okay, so let me just read through that. A girl throws a 0 0.30 kilogram ball down to the ground as hard as she can to make it rise up into the air as high as she can. So there are two things. You could hold something up and you could just let it go, in which case it doesn't have any speed at the start. But in this question, she's actually pushing it down. So it's got an initial velocity because she's pushing it, throwing it as hard as she can to make the ball go really high once it bounces, okay? And at the instant it leaves a hand, it's 1.2 meters above the ground and it's traveling downwards at 11 meters per second. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the kinetic energy of the ball at the instant it leaves the girl's hand. So EK at the start, okay, is half mv squared which is equal to half and your mass is 0 0.30 times 11 squared. So what do we get? So you just go 0 0.5 times 0 0.30 times 11 squared and I get 18.15, okay, joules. So this answer is 18.15 joules, okay. Then the next thing we have to do is calculate the gravitational potential energy the ball loses as it travels down to the ground. Okay, so for gravitational potential energy, we need mgh. So EP lost, that's the word you use, mg delta h. Your mass is 0 0.30, g is 10, and the height is 1.2 meters. So with that 3.6, okay, so you go 0 0.30 times 10 times 1.2, yeah, you get 3.6 joules. All right, okay, then what is the gravitational potential energy changed into? So as something is falling down, all the gravitational potential energy is changed into kinetic energy. So this gravitational potential energy is going to change, be changed into kinetic energy. So this arrow means it's changed too, okay? Calculate the total kinetic energy of the ball at the instant it hits the ground. So your total kinetic energy is this plus that. So it's 18.15 plus 3.6. So you get 21.75 joules, okay? So let's make sure I've got my addition correct. So it's 3.6, 3.6 plus 18.15, yeah, 21.75. And then the last part E is calculate the speed of the ball at the instant it hits the ground. So the speed of the ball, so this is there in many of the questions where you have to get the speed of the ball. So if you know the kinetic energy, because anything moving has got kinetic energy, and if you know the mass, you can get the speed, okay? So what we use is EK is 21.75, and that's equal to half mv squared or half times a mass is 0 0.30 times v squared is 21.75 or your v squared is 21.75 times 2 divided by 0 0.30 and that's equal to 21.75 times 2 divided by 0.30 and I get 145, but that's the answer to V squared. So I've got to square root that, shift square root, and I get 12.04. So that's the speed. So this is 145, and so V is about 12.04. 
meters per second. Can you see what I've written at the bottom? You can. So that's how you solve question five and good luck. So what you're meant to do is work through questions one to six. There are six questions. So now that I've shown you these two different ones, you should be able to work your way through them. So bye for now.